I had an immediate family member who was diagnosed with a brain tumor when I was six years old, and that played a large part because I saw how hard that was for my family. And I saw how that kind of changed my outlook on life, because when you're six years old, you don't think about um, topics such as death or dying from this type of cancer or having your life changed drastically. So a lot of that has helped inspire me when I did rotations at one of the hospitals, just seeing the toll that cancer takes and understanding that the doctors helped to save my family member's life and I'd like to return that favor and try to make an impact on someone else's life and make sure that they have the chance to see their family stay together and achieve their dreams. My project focuses on early stage colon cancer. When we look at colon cancer, there's early stage and then there's the later stages. So early stage, usually people will have surgery and they'll have the, uh, the tissue removed. But we see that about 30 to 40 percent of those patients actually suffer from a relapse. And then they eventually die of the metastatic disease. So this goes in to see how we can figure out who's likely to suffer from that relapse. If we look at just the clinical characteristics right now, we really can't tell. So I tried to look at the genes and which genes are differentially expressed within these two patient groups. And so, can I tell you if you're likely to relapse? And furthermore, can I take that information and decide which drugs I should use to treat you?